Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Eva and welcome back to SimCity. Now earlier today or yesterday, I think it was today, Update 6 was released in on SimCity which had some big changes on the way RCI works, otherwise known as Residential Commerce and Industry. And that industry is now a lot more necessary. People could be building cities with just um, residential and commercial and no industry and I'm like, how does it even work but so instead of going back to our old regions uh, and that's why i haven't been playing recently either is that i want to check out this new region because it seems quite interesting to me and that would be granite lake now granite lake has 10 city spaces five on each side of the lake there are five here and five here and also it can be connected by boat in between and there is a rail connection with every city if I'm seeing this correctly so that's good to have but the thing is this region is a lot more diverse in heights and definitely in the cities you want to build so we want to make this a private region I mean I'm sorry I don't want you guys joining in at this moment and we'll call this uh, Gab Lake uh, my buddy has actually gotten really good news so and to continue my support at least i will call the region after him and just for now keep the city names as they are and then see what happens next now what i do want to do is start on one side and first fill that up before going anywhere else i know i've been playing two regions already and this is episode 14 and already a third region but this is a new region uh, there have been some changes to the way the game works and I just want to check this out now every one of these cities I've checked beforehand has resources in some kind or another so at least one of them is present in every city you can claim and which makes it quite easy to make money everywhere and uh, but what we are going to do do is start in Carson Shores and build up some uh, power industry in the form of coal and oil and then fill up this site even more I mean you have coal and ores here you have coal ores and oil but lots of ores less of the other two you have coal and ores here and you have coal and ores here so when it comes to metal industry this side of the map can work its way up very fast again coal and ores uh, coal and oil uh, oil and ore and here's oil this is actually would that be yeah this is the only city with just one resource and it's rocky way ridge and as you can see it has two big drops from uh, until the ocean and the highway comes in on this side as well this might also be a fun one to start with just because it only has oil um, and the banks of granite lake provides a connection to Carson shores across the lake and so ah, so there are actually are shipping routes so if you build a city in Carson shores and in Rockway Rocky Way Ridge those two are connected by boat but they are not connected with the other two which are connected to each other half moon banks and clark landing so actually i do like the look of this city and as well as carson shores so i might start just connecting these two together but as i said we're going to claim carson shores and we'll start hello and here would be um toto and uh, what she named again and the wizard of oz oz oh, dorothy yeah, I have, I have that as my avatar. And Dorothy says, I miss Kansas. And then Toto says, I miss the rains down in Africa. Which is actually one of the most common mistakes about the Toto song, Africa. Where they actually sing, I bless the rains, instead of I miss the rains. Now, wow, this is an interesting uh, start. I mean, it's it looks very flat, but it goes down to the ocean. Uh, well the lake actually on two sides and there's no connection along the shore then there's this really silly hill I wonder what we can build here that makes it actually look pretty cool all around but yeah first thing we need to do is check where is the coal and the coal is on the high ground and the oil is down in the 
valleys at the shore. So we also, of course, want to see the direction of the wind. It blows in from the coast. So we want our residential to in at the coast and our industrial areas up top here. Now with the ore, oh wow, there's a shitload of coal here. So um, first thing we're gonna do is uh, actually build some roads out and just, uh, well, we definitely want one avenue go down here and one go down here. So we want to make a cross street about here that just fills up, but still leaves some room for buildings on these sides as well. So we'll make it about yay. So we still have room for some corner roads going around and anything. And while this will be in uh, quite a difficult situation because we do not want to have too much traffic going either side. So we'll make this one. Actually, I want to have the corner reroute for this. So we'll go this way here. And hopefully connect it up set like that and then we can make a road straight from here and if necessary connect these two together as well but these will be the uh, roads of the city now let's continue to build something here uh, let's see hmm. should be fine if we connect those two over here and that should be fine. Okay, there's the overlap. If we pull it out straight from here, it will end up at, the annoying, at an annoying intersection. So we'll do it like this. And yeah, I'll, I'll see what else will happen here. So we want our industry on the top here, but um, we also want some residential to start off with. And I don't think that going straight down for residential is going to be the idea. So I will just put the industrial area on one side of the map. And as you can see here, the highway goes up very fast as well. And we do have a rail connection over here. So I probably want to build commercial on this side. And for the tourists, if we can get them at one point, I mean, we are looking to play a mostly uh, industrial city on this uh, actual spot so let's see if we can just build a few more roads like this and go one that starts going down there we go so now we have some room to build our uh, first city buildings our residential zoning and I guess we'll put one actually oh let's see if we can do this and built some buildings on either side of the road and if that would actually make them fit uh, only up until here it's just a few buildings but that, this way it would actually might help with the traffic a little bit and let's do some inroads as well here I tr I'm going to try to avoid putting too much housing on the avenues but it's not going to be completely avoidable in uh, I think anymore as we were trying in the other city it was not working out I think so we'll just fill this uh, up a bit and yeah we can connect you back here as well make a few more connections and oh, we can actually go all the way around and we'll fill this one up in the middle as well so like um, on here in this part, I can build some, but I don't want them too close to the big avenue intersections. And we'll probably, this might be a fun idea to put city hall all the way on top here and make them reach out. Now, obviously we are in a coal and uh, oil town. So we will definitely be getting a uh, city based around uh, the energy from those sources and this over here would be a good location now let's quickly check the water map because well this is a very interesting map and getting water is definitely only possible at the coast so well there are a few bits of water but they will run dry very fast so we will need to temporarily extend this road quite quickly just to get some water around here and eventually I will probably because uh, you cannot connect to the other well 
There's a mountain in my way. I cannot see anything. Why is this here? I don't... Oh, there's a city. Oh, this is it. This is going to be a fun region every time. Oh, look, it's a mountain. But yeah, what I want to do is look over the river, uh, the lake. And you cannot connect to the other side when it comes to uh, garbage. Garbage or electricity or water or sewage because it needs a road connection so on each side of the river we want at least one uh, building that can do both uh, sewage and the uh, uh, the big sewage treatment plant and the big water uh, plant as well so let's uh, finish this road here and make people have to travel a little bit less to actually get somewhere and if we can get it like that, uh, we can connect you two together like this. So now we have our main avenues going around. It, this will get some decent traffic out as well. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of room in the middle for now for my coal industry, but that will probably not be quite necessary at one point any longer. Now we need to get some power. How much is a coal plant? It's 17,000. I can build it right near the entrance to the city, which is good. And we will definitely need some extra money for that one. Can I already take a cheap bond? I can. Already puts us in the min. But uh, a coal plant, this will uh, put it right at the entrance of the city. And I will not turn on global deliveries and it will just run out until we have the money to actually uh, get uh, our uh, mining operation going. We need 22,500 and some industry as well as uh, power and water, especially the water will be the big one in this city. So for now, let's just get some uh, dirt roads out here. To, uh, this, to see how the city will connect further and that way we can actually we can build some buildings on the dirt road anyway and now the houses go up here and up here on the side oh. and after this it will just go up and get our town hall at the top of it and we do want some more commercial um, like this I will probably make this uh, yeah, this definitely will be the commercial sector, um, but still, it's going to be quite uh, the challenge getting everything fit into a city with such big hills. I mean, we do lose like, I want to say 20% of the city because of the hills here uh, on a already very small amount of this area which you can build on. Now, let's continue this road. Oh, we do need the to curve at one point a little to just make it look decent I mean there's a reason I play games like this and that's a little bit of OCD and let's see we can if we just finish it here there the Avenue will be the only road going down and ending as well in the middle so we can have some regular roads around it but this you know I want a right straight road from there and we'll just connect this all the way over there and build a water tower. And it should start pumping very soon, give water to the entire city. And gives us the time to expand with more com more residential buildings, really. So to actively fit anything on these housings here, you want to... Yeah, I don't want that guide there, but I still want the guide there. That's because I want the guide to see how far this road needs to go, but I don't want to snap it on that specific guide route. That would be annoying. So we'll build some more residential areas over here. And this should be looking good. Uh, here we go. And that there. Now we can, ah, we can build the town hall now. So, okay, that was a little bit too much, but I only want that area anyway. So, here we go. Now, this will be a little bit of commercial. It's just a buffer between the industry and the residential. And this will leave us with some space in the middle for, uh, for an industry and especially the coal plant, which we will need. Uh, water, is it not running yet? Why is it not going? 
It is going around, it just hasn't reached everywhere yet. What's the issue? Water problems. Buildings need water. Yeah, I know this. I can see it. Ah, uh, yes, we will also need some sewage treatment as well. Sewage outflow pipe is sadly the only thing we can do here. So, where can we put this and not make a huge mess? Well, we could put it on the top of this hill. <laughs> no, no, not gonna happen. So yeah, there will be residential down in the valleys as well. At least uh, once we've extracted enough oil to make some money out of it. Uh, but I would like a decent spot for this thing. I guess I will just do this. Uh, this will be a very funny road. Can I draw through buildings? Okay. I can put you here and probably curve you around a little bit. No, is it seriously? I just ended this road right where the, uh, huh, that's uh, unfortunate. I ended that road right where our buddy from the power plant has built the building. I, uh, you can see it's a pretty big damn building, so. If we get it like this, we should be able to just put the outflow pipe right behind our power plant be all sneakily about it. Hey, look, we're driving to the city. You look to the right. Ew, sewage. And let's start flowing with the sewage. Now I'll put the speed up higher again so more people will actually come into town. And apparently the RCI is actually doing its job. Wow. I mean, it's just a new region with uh, a couple of buildings, but by the looks of it, it's going to be fine. And let's build one room for an industry building so we can actually have seven which are needed for the coal plant well not the coal plant it's already here but the coal mine here it is we have a petition so we can actually build a coal mine and a oil well it will show up next and here we have it so that's the start of our city um, first things first get the coal industry up and running after that, uh, we'll see what happens. So, what's the issue? Unemployment crisis, really? There are jobs, but not enough people. So, we only have a thousand people. Um, detail unemployed 161, but there are 102 jobs available at the higher wealth level. So, let's build at least something to up that level. Um, let's build a volleyball court somewhere. Well, these we can put right next to the intersection, which makes it quite ideal to have some high-level stuff right near it. I, I can see, I can put it, there is a blue one, but getting it orientated right. I'm not sure, can I use Control or Alt or Shift? No, this is just highly annoying. Maybe if I turn the camera, nope, not gonna happen. So let's instead put some basketball fields up here and a tennis court, why not? And yeah, there's actually, it's just too steep to build anything behind it, except maybe a, another volleyball court, which is not the end of the world. But here you can see the steepness of the hill already because they had to heighten a lot of ground around it. I only want to build something that won't actually destroy this one little house there. Now we have some upgrades here, which means we have, will have some less people of the low wealth value and some more of medium wealth, and they will fill those jobs. So this might mean that RCI is really doing well. And as you can see, it doesn't suddenly go bonkers with either of these uh, RCI demands, and which we saw in previous videos. You can actually see it go up high very fast on either one. Okay, I do want a town hall, but where I want it is up here. So let's see, let's make it straight for now. And let's keep it going straight. Now we just have to see how much room do we actually require for the town hall to be built here. It's not a lot, so uh, we need to move the road a bit further away. Uh, about to here, and let's curve it again. Just. I don't just want a straight road though, so if we build it like this, will we have room for a town hall? Actually, we do not. 
So let's try again. Move a little bit of the road. Get it back here and curve it like this. This should work now. Let's see. Uh, here we are. Well, as you can see, um, we do want to get the road a little bit further along. Just because it's... Uh, we need some more room actually on the road to build it. And there's actually... Uh, it's too curvy to actually put it straight here. Uh, I guess we'll have to do this then. Let's rebuild it completely. And in the meantime, my, uh, my stuff just keeps getting... I keep getting money, so it's not really that big of an issue. So if we build this like here... Can we? No, that's already too close. Jesus. I'm just trying to make the city look nice, and then you do this to me. Why? Maybe the road just wasn't long enough, though. That's also possible. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, actually, wow, there is not a lot of room. Uh, I guess we need. Yeah, let's try again. Keep trying. And the city is just growing behind us uh, in the meantime, so. This should work. Uh, can we get... Ah, uh, it's just... The area is just too small to actually fit it. And to get both sides of the building done. But what we'll do instead is get at least two of the sides working. Uh, so we can put behind and to one side of the building. If we want to expand it. See? Uh, okay, well this would actually be the nicest in my opinion can put the mayor house next to it perhaps some people get happier yay for them uh, we can name the city but for now it's going to stick we're gonna stick with Carson Shores now the city is actually running but there are not many people coming in because we just don't have the space to put the residential yet and that's why we have this area down here so let's expand the avenue a little bit further I think like this should be good not too far not too little and let's connect some roads to it as well again just starting with the dirt roads because I don't really see a reason why not and let's make this a quite good and not too far there's going to be a long road around here and I can possibly put one more in there as well but I just want to maximize the amount of space that I can get from the uh, outside of this area and actually this should be the beach housing as well you can go like this maybe put like here And there we go. Now, the avenue, I will pull it all the way over here as well, just to make it look decent. And once these roads, up, roads upgrade, it will look even better. And now it's time to put down some more residential. I'll put some uh, commercial in the middle as well on the avenue. There we go people are already moving in and we'll put a little bit of commercial right on this side and perhaps put some uh, interesting I'll probably put a building or so on this side as well so we don't want this to go too far mm, actually now we can fill this in but I'm not gonna make a road and instead put like the fire department here or the police station or something oh we can actually already build a gambling house that's pretty cool so now the need is still for uh, medium wealth residents and i guess along the coast we will try and get some uh, very high wealth uh, stuff going there we they want a treatment they want to be better not sick and but yeah for now this looks good in this city I mean, Town Hall is situated on the hill, which is pretty damn cool. This mill area, we'll just keep it clear for now. Look to build some coal power 
Again, it's not coal power, it's a coal drill. And we want to build it before this runs out completely. I just don't want to buy any coal. So let's just um, see what happens next in this city. But Carson Shores is working now. We have almost 3,000 people in the region. This will be look nice. I'll leave this one open, this side open for some oil drilling if I so please. But I'd rather start getting oil in a different city. And that's actually on this side only really possible in Carson Shores. Huh. So you know what? Let's uh, Lewis Landing. Clark Landing. No, you know what? We have Carson Shores which was connected to, to Rocky Way Ridge. So we will claim Rocky Way Ridge. And let's see if we can start our oil industry here instead. The only city in the region that has only one resource available in the ground. So, this is where I will end this video though. So, hello, Carson uh, Ridge. Oh, it doesn't have a double drop. It just has a ridge in the middle. Which just very conveniently ends right here next to the highway. But yeah, this is actually... Oh, this is a, this is a neat looking region again. I, I do like what they've done with this region. And this region will connected by boat with Carson City over there Carson City Nevada it's the capital but yeah it's Carson Shores actually so and without further ado like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos so I can get more out to you as well I really enjoy making them but if you c connect with me I can do more as well and they maybe adapt a bit to what you think so if you have any feedback also leave it in the comments section and on that note, I will see you later.